Hello, my name is Tim Jones, and welcome to another edition of Across the World. I'm coming to you from America, and I'm with my good friend, Hamad Hassan from Lahore, Pakistan. Hello, Hamad, how are you? Hello, Tim, I'm fine. How are you? Very good. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a topic that is a little sensitive. We're going to talk about guns and what the importance of guns are in, in our two cultures and to see what things are similar and what things might be different. So I'm going to ask a question to get us started. Hamad, do a lot of people, adults in Pakistan, own guns? There, there are, are some uh, different uh, laws here in Pakistan, unlike United States, that here you cannot keep a weapon or, or own a weapon without a license. You cannot say that any adult has a weapon all the time in his pocket or in his house or in his uh, vehicle. So you cannot say that overall uh, here there is a too much, uh, a lot of uh, gun culture in Pakistan. If there is in some areas, it is illegal. Interesting. So in the USA, this is a very controversial topic. It gets some people into shouting, message, uh, shouting matches about should we allow guns or not? There are more guns in America than people. There are more guns per household in America than just about any country in the world. And we also have more gun murders in America than any country on earth just about. In our constitution, one of the Bill of Rights said that uh, basically that people should be allowed to have guns. But it was originally created to help pre protect uh, people from the thought that the British might come back and take take back the, the colonies. It has been reinterpreted in recent years to mean that anybody can, any adult can have a gun. So there's a lot of controversy about it. So to answer the question that I asked, in our country, there's a lot of guns. In my opinion, far too many. And many of them are what we call assault rifles, which are the guns that can shoot rapidly. And they're only, they're intended for military use, but some individuals have them. Um, so um, yeah. one aspect I missed uh, about Pakistan that in some areas, in some tribal areas, the gun culture is very common and uh, it is legal according to their uh, according to their law. So uh, it it has some deep roots uh, when there was Af uh, our neighbor is Afghanistan and uh, when when the Afghan the Shia invaded uh, Afghanistan it put a lot of weapons in it and left the weapons and ran away so those weapons weapon culture developed from there and in Afghanistan and it comes uh, to the Pakistan across the border and uh, uh, that's why the tribal areas near the, to the Afghanistan border, there are cultures who, who have a, a common thing. Uh, guns are very common and they're very heavyweight guns, uh, machine guns, you can say. And uh, there was, uh, due to which, uh, there was uh, there are, was a terrorism waves in Pakistan and, and then our military uh, did operations in those areas. And now you can say that uh, if, if not zero uh, percent, there's only 5% culture left in the tribal areas now. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, how hard is it to purchase a gun or a rifle in Pakistan for an adult? How difficult is that? Depends upon your need. Uh, if you uh, if you uh, need a, a gun for your secure uh, for, for your security, there is a proper way. You can apply for a license, and uh, there is a there is a fees you can pay uh, about in uh, USD United States dollar. You can say two thousand to four thousand dollars fees you can pay and you can get uh, a, a weapon uh, from the market. Interesting. In the United States, it really varies from state to state to state. Every state has its own gun control laws. Some states are very strict. You have a waiting period after you purchase a gun so they can do a background check in some states to see, are you stable? Do you have a criminal record? Have you had gun problems in the past? So other states, you could walk into a retail store a sporting goods store that sells guns and just buy it and walk right out with it. So it really varies. Um, people like myself, and I admit to a bias that I believe we need harsher gun control laws, stricter gun control laws. Uh, people like me, we tend to feel that it's way too easy to buy a gun. Um, it is, there are a lot of things in this life that it's much harder to do. 
than to buy a gun. And we don't think it should be that way. Now, um, I have a question. Would you say in general that gun violence is a major problem in Pakistan in most cities, or is it just in a few remote regions and not really a major problem? Uh, back, if you say five to seven years back, if you go, mm -hmm. then there was a lot of uh, weapons uh, in, in Karachi, uh, the big city of Pakistan. There were target killings started here in Pakistan, and uh, every day there were hundreds of people who were uh, go, who were murdered and injured. So, what our security uh, security agencies they did a wide operation all across the country, and they from from one end to the other end of the of the country uh, they performed a big big operation, and they they, they demilitarized the areas uh, who were under the uh, terrorists, and um, uh, no. There, are, there is much, much better conditions here in Pakistan. And you cannot say that, no, Pakistan is uh, uh, just like a country where you are walking on a road and someone can fire you. No, Pakistan is no very peaceful country. Uh, but if, you, if we go back 10 years, uh, there are very worse conditions here. In our country, uh, gun violence is a problem. And every, just about certainly every week there's a mass murder and we define a mass murder as four or four or more people being killed in a shooting and it's way too common uh almost always these people who committed are men almost always they are people who are mentally ill almost always they are people who have anger towards some other group maybe they're angry towards blacks or they're angry towards gay people or they're angry towards foreigners but usually there's some raging anger that people didn't notice and they you know, they go out and buy a gun and lots of weapons. Um, I will say that um, there's a lot of uh, efforts to try to um, reduce the, the access to guns, but it's very controversial. And one of the reasons it's controversial is the history of America involves, we, we started out in these 13, what we called colonies in the, in, uh, in the Eastern United States, and we expanded westward. And as we expanded westward, and um, took away lands, a lot of times took away lands from the Native Americans who were living there already. And part of moving westward was to, you're on your own, you're protecting yourself. There's nobody there to help you because it's just you and your family. So everybody had a gun to protect themselves from, you know, bad guys or, or whatever. And so the culture of having a gun in your house is very woven into the American psyche. It's just something that a lot of Americans figure from, from our earliest roots, you, you have a gun to protect your family. And I understand having a gun to protect your family. The problem is it doesn't stop there. And in fact, uh, most people use guns either against people they already know, like family members, because they're in, either in anger and rage, or they kill themselves. The, the biggest cause of gun deaths is suicide in our country. Number one, suicide. So um, I wanted to ask you, um, uh, you know, a, 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 I'm watching the clock and I wanted to ask, um, it, you know, what's going on in Ukraine is very topical right now, um, since that has to do a lot with violence that's happening. Um, how do the people in Pakistan feel about the situation that's going on in Ukraine with the invasion by Russia? What is this a common topic right now or is this something people don't really follow very closely? It is most uh, mostly discussed in our news channels uh, in a political way, uh, because uh, uh, you know that when uh, the Russian when the Russian decided to attack on the Ukraine on the same day, our prime minister was on a visit to the Russia, and uh, that was obviously for some business purposes or uh, political purposes, mm -hmm. and uh, you know that it was a very bad time when the Russia was attacking Ukraine and our country prime minister was visiting uh, the, the Russia. So on the political level, there is a discussion that it is it was a right time to, uh, to visit a Russia or not. And on, uh, on the, uh, the people are saying in general that Russia is uh, not doing good and is uh, using uh, uh, same weapon, uh, same uh, first weapon force, which uh, generally America, America did uh, a lot of years. So there, there's a general discussion here in Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and and overall, they just, they're condemning the Russia that 
uh, they should stop the violence in Ukraine. Has your government officially come out and said anything about the situation? Have they, has a, a, you know, either your prime minister or your president said anything or is it just the news channels? Yes, uh, our prime minister uh, uh, on a visit to Russia, he urged uh, the uh, President Putin that uh, the violence is not a way uh, to uh, deal. You should sit and you should talk your uh, your problems. And uh, uh, secondly, uh, our uh, country uh, on the political level is uh, uh, neutral on this uh, on this uh, case because uh, uh, they are they are expecting that Russia is going to invest here in, in Pakistan. And uh, uh, in the future, there will be a good relations with the Russia. So on the government level, there is a, uh, there is a, a discussion on, on another level, you can mm -hmm. say. I understand. Um, uh, would you say that um, in terms of just gun violence and access to guns in your country, are things moving in the right direction towards m more safety, less guns? Or would you say things are moving in the wrong direction? I will say that uh, with the time, uh, it is uh, our gun culture is not improving. There is a, a strict uh, laws uh, which are uh, not there uh, about the guns. And one more interesting uh, thing I want to tell you that here in Pakistan, there is also a culture mostly in the village areas uh, when uh, when there is a marriage ceremony, uh, they uh, they do uh, air shooting. Uh, do you understand air shooting and uh, shooting into so the when, air, uh, right? Yeah. Shooting into the shooting air. Shooting in the yeah. air, right. and uh, there are a lot of incidents that due to that shooting, some uh, innocent um, have been injured or killed, and uh, so this uh, th this problem here in Pakistan is also very common, and um, uh, and uh, government is trying trying to uh, uh, trying to down the uh, down these events and uh, implementing the strict laws here in pakistan that's good so overall i overall uh, i can say that uh, if you go 20 years back uh, there were a lot worse conditions but not today there are a lot of improvement here in pakistan well that's very encouraging <clears throat> and one of the examples that i hear how gun control can work i'm not going to have my year exactly correct but australia had a horrible mass shooting in like the 1990s. There were, I, I, I think something like 30 or 40 people were killed by a mass shooter who was clearly mentally unstable. Within just a few months of that shooting, just a few months, uh, Australia's government instituted a ban on all assault weapons of any kind, you know, what you call like the machine guns. And they have not had a mass murder. It is my understanding. I could be wrong if somebody wants to fact check, but it's my understanding they have not had a mass shooting since then so like in over 20 years they have not had one so gun control can work um but it's been something that people have been fighting for in the united states for years and we are just making very little progress unfortunately in our country because of this deep held view among some people that um you know guns are a right interestingly about 75 percent of americans when surveyed say we do need better gun control legislation that's a good thing but there was an organization called the National Rifles, Rifle Association, which used to be really powerful. It's not quite as powerful now, but it has a lot. They spent a lot of money on helping senators and congressmen in our Congress, in our government, to convince them to not pass gun control legislation. So they're lobbying hard to, to not do gun control legislation. And they have a lot of influence, even though most Americans have said time and again, some gun control legislation is a good thing and we need some of it. So it's an ongoing challenge. So I think so the United States is also our world's largest weapon industry. So that will be also a reason that the big companies uh, do not want that there should be a reduction in the, in the web use of weapons. Yes, yes. I think so. Yep. I can be wrong. No, I, no it, I'm sure we're number one at creating weapons. We, we, I'm sure we're <laughs> toward the top, unfortunately. Well, listen, this has been an interesting conversation. We've been talking with my good friend Hamad Hassan about the challenge of guns and gun violence in our respective cultures. And we look forward to seeing you all in another episode when we'll talk about something new. Thank you, Hamad. Thank you, Tim. Bye. Bye-bye.